Hi everyone. Hope you're good. Thanks for coming back. And how to make your Kizamizuki most effective. So, there are many types of Kizamizuki. You know, sometimes Kizamizuki can be just to set up to check your opponent. I to kind of get information to set up other techniques. But let's talk about the basic Kizamizuki. Try to feel like almost like you stab, right? <laughs> stab and back with your whole body. Like Sensei Jiyama used to say, imagine you have a knife, don't just poke, but <clears throat> thrust with your whole body. Anyway, ski means thrust. A jab, like a boxing jab, meaning to also to stab, right? Even though sometimes it can be just a little poke to set up, but generally feel like your body hit the target. Right? So a few more little rules. Imagine if you, you know, cable machine, cable machine, your arm should travel in the same way as if you're using, if your elbow go out, you can connect your body to it. So naturally, if you use a cable machine, your elbow should go in the same trajectory, shortest line, shortest line. But again, try to think of your arm is soft, right? Shifting energy, give to your elbow. Your body is shifting, give to your elbow. Of course, of course, if it's a short space, it could be rotation, rotation, rotation. Short space, more space, more shifting energy, shifting energy, right? And I don't stand up too long. The job is a little different, or Kizamizuki, different Kiyakuzuki. First attack to the head, generally. You can attack Kizamizuki to the body too, of course. Right? But usually it's more of a short kime. Short kime, pa. Gyakuzuki is more penetration. Right? More feel like fu. Right? Kizamizuki is still a thrust, but very short. Okay? And if you, a little more detail, be careful. Some common mistake. The arm go first. Right? The arm reach. And you go out of base. And you actually make yourself more vulnerable. I, I, one night I spar with Sensei Nishiyama and I felt at the time that I'm gonna catch him every time. But he always was first. And after a few minutes of that, he told me, you're exposing yourself because your arm got too soon. And so I realized the foot, the hip, drive your elbow. So you see this way, I'm exposed for shortest time. But even more details, your foot first. Your foot first. Your foot, then your weight. You see, my foot, my weight, and my technique. Right? Foot, center, top. There is a concept we call Ichigam, Nisoku, Santan, Shiroko. Right? Ichigam is not related now, it's your perception. But Nisoku means feet, Santan, center. Shiroku power technique. I so, so again, to make your basic job stronger, I feel like you stab fast through. <laughs> but don't forget, your job can be used in many different ways. I sometimes I even attack, that's maybe not for now, but I even attack the opponent hand just to, or, you know, not directly. I just to kind of create reaction. So I attack. Maybe attack to the head to neutralize the reverse punch. I but then open up. I maybe I just jab or kizami to make them block. When the block, I use the head to tap or to to open the center. That's I'll show you in different ways. But the basic job. If try to hit the target to feel it. Let me show you.
See that my arm is soft. I hit with the body, and the arm is just free. Okay, so practice the right form, practice it in the, in this case, a standing bag or the heavy bag or the meats. I like to use the meats a lot in classes with the students. Those are really good because, because you, with the meats, you can set the target in many different ways, distances. So you get, you improve your footwork, your accuracy. Or please turn hard up you. Use that video. Or 